something big has happened huawei has just released this pango pro mixture of expert language model designed with a unique sparse architecture called as mixture of grouped experts but i don't think so that is the important thing here important thing is that this pango model cannot be run on nvidia gpu you can only run it on huawei's own hardware and it is also very much software dependent up till now what we have been observing the models coming from china are all very much free they are portable to nvidia gpus amd gpus or whatever hardware is available they are pretty permissible and you can run them fine tune them use them any way you like but not this model this model has strict hardware dependencies software dependencies plus the licensing is not that liberal so is this a shift change from china what exactly is this model and what are those hardware limitations and what exactly that means going forward that is the topic of this video i am fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel first let's try to understand what exactly is this model and how this works so as i said it uses a new technique called as mixture of grouped expert let me explain that so unlike traditional dense models where all the parameters are active during inference mixture of expert models selectively activate only a few experts that significantly reduces computational overhead this pango pro moe has 72 billion total parameters but only 16 billion are activated per token that delivers the performance of a massive model at a fraction of cost the innovation lies in how these experts are selected. Traditional mixture of expert models use a top K approach that often results in certain experts being overused while others remain idle, creating bottlenecks and inefficiencies. Huawei's Moj addresses this by organizing experts into fixed groups and requiring an equal number of experts to be selected from each group. This ensures balanced computation across hardware device, a critical advantage when deploying models on distributed system and that is the secret sauce of this model as far as I can see and that has really improved a lot of benchmarks and not much information is available there but still they have released a paper, they have released a code which is always a welcome sign. Now let's try to see all about its architecture because i think that is something very interesting here now if you look at this diagram this gives you the full architecture of this pango pro model so it consists of 48 transformer layers 64 routed experts and four shared experts each group contains eight routed experts and for each token exactly one expert from each group is activated the model is trained with a vocabulary size of around 153 376 and a hidden size of 5120 that is optimized for ascend 300i duo and 800i a2 npus which is huawei's in-house neural processing unit and that is a big deal here another very important fact here is that this model uses something called as huawei specific kernels like mul attention or multi-head attention and swift gmm which is also described in their paper both of these are designed to maximize the utilization of huawei's npu hardware these custom operators improve attention module efficiency and reduce kv cache memory overhead they have also used advanced quantization techniques like w8a8 which are used to accelerate inference with minimal accuracy loss so as i said earlier Pango Pro mixture of expert very crucially is only and exclusively optimized for Huawei's Ascend NPUs. And it uses their CAN driver or CAWN driver framework and hardware specific accelerators. Two key platforms are supported Ascend 800 and Ascend 300. So 800 is suitable for high throughput inference 
and 300 is tuned for efficiency and cost effectiveness you can only run this on torch npu which is a huawei customized i would say pytorch variant and you can also use it with mindspore which is huawei's deep learning framework and then there is scan sdk which is a sense hardware runtime you cannot run pango pro mixture of expert on nvidia gpus or standard cuda environment even if you use pytorch or transformers the required dependencies are tied to the npu ecosystem <clears throat> no cuda port exists at this time and the model is not hosted on any public platform like hugging face or anywhere else for general use i have even gone ahead i have tried these commands to get it installed on my nvidia h100 multiple gpus but this simply doesn't work even with this transformer because you see there is npu torch which is being imported here so i have tried and it doesn't work now coming back to this npu stuff if you don't know what npu is npu stands for neural processing unit it is a specialized chip optimized for ai workloads Unlike CPUs or GPUs, NPUs are designed for matrix operations, attention layers and parallel compute tasks commonly found in deep learning. Huawei's Ascent NPUs built on their DaVinci architecture rival NVIDIA's A100 and H100 GPUs in raw performance but consume less performance. <clears throat> Huawei built the Pango Pro Mixture of Expert as flagship showcase of what their AI chips can achieve. And that is something I guess is the meaning of this whole mess, uh, you know, message and model is the release is part of a broader strategy to build an independent AI ecosystem in China, especially under the global chip export restrictions that limit Huawei's access to NVIDIA hardware by creating a high performance mixture of expert model native to their hardware. Huawei is signaling that they can compete with the other companies and other chip makers and AI labs on both software and silicon. And <clears throat> that is why this release is important among architectural advancements because Moj or Mixture of Expert Group um, experts resolve the key bottleneck in a Mixture of Expert model which is load imbalance. It uses a group-wise routing strategy and idea that can inspire future sparse model designs. Then there is a hardware software co-design because it's a rare example of a language model designed together with custom hardware which leads to exceptional inefficiency. This really I believe contrasts with NVIDIA's more general purpose GPU strategies. And there are a lot of geopolitical implications because uh, this Huawei is at the center of US-China tech tensions. The success of Pango Pro mixture of experts shows that advanced AI development is progressing independently in China, backed by homegrown compute infrastructure. And if you check out all the leading benchmarks like MMLU, Drop, GSM at K, Pango Pro outperform um, Quen 332 billion, GLM Z1, and even Llama 4 Scout in several categories. Some of the benchmarks even show that there is another version which has beaten DeepSeek. If you compare it with NVIDIA, NVIDIA's dominant position in the AI compute market is built around its CUDA platform and GPUs like H100. While NVIDIA supports both dense and sparse models, the mixture of expert support in frameworks like Megatron, DeepSpeed or VLLM is primarily tuned for GPUs. Huawei's NPUs, in contrast, are deeply integrated with sparse computation logic, custom compression, and pipeline memory strategies that let them run 72 billion mixture of expert models faster than NVIDIA's 32 billion dense model in many, many cases. And some of the data shows that Pango Pro achieves 1528 tokens per second per card with speculative decoding on Ascend 800i A2. Whereas a 72 billion dense model on same hardware achieves only 583 token per second. So the gap is huge, around 2.6 times, I guess. But that said, Huawei's ecosystem is closed. The Ascend tool chain like CAN runtime and Torch NPU are not really widely adopted globally. 
The challenge for Huawei lies in adoption and software ecosystem maturity, while Nvidia benefits from a universal platform and widespread developer support. So, to summarize, Pango Pro Mixture of Expert is a landmark release from Huawei, a 72 billion sparse language model with efficient expert routing, cutting edge performance, and deep hardware software co design on Ascend NPUs. It marks a really jump for sparse LLM architecture and showcases China's capability to build a sovereign AI stack. However, the model remains limited to Huawei's hardware, leaving most of the world, especially CUDA users, unable to run it. And that is why I couldn't install it and show you. Well, but if you have access to these Ascend NPUs, I think this model really something to try on. And it offers unprecedented efficiency and accuracy as per benchmarks. Now, I also want to request you to like the video and share it. And want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Please like the video and share it again. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.